Good morning, and thank you for joining us as we present our virtual Donors and Scholars Showcase. I'm Tara Turner, Assistant Vice President for Institutional Advancement at Coppin State University, and I am pleased to serve as your MC for this event. Normally, we would have you in a beautifully decorated banquet hall with a lavish buffet and plenty of opportunities to engage our students. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, we've had to reimagine this event, but it does not at all diminish our enthusiasm or our excitement and our appreciation for the support that we've received from our donors this year. Ladies and gentlemen, Coppin State University's eighth president, Dr. Anthony L. Jenkins. Good morning. You know, allow me to take this opportunity to thank some very important people. And that is you, our donors. You know, I could not be more thrilled and excited about your generosity and your commitment to Coppin State University. And more importantly, our students. You know, it only takes one act of kindness to change the trajectory of one's life. I know because like our students today, I was very fortunate as an undergraduate first generation college student to have dedicated donors like yourselves invest in not only my education, but also in mentoring me along my journey. You know, your philanthropic efforts, they are significant. They not only lift Coppin State University, but they also lift our students. They make a profound difference in the lives of so many. And because of men and women like you, young Coppin Eagles have been able to soar. They have been able to reach their dreams and chase their goals. Their trajectory has been north and the quality of their life has greatly been enhanced. You know, when I think about your commitment and I think about your willingness, it takes a special person, a selfless person, who is willing to invest in individuals and the opportunity to change generations that they may never have the opportunity to meet. It is because of you, the future of our Coppin Eagles is bright and the future of Coppin State University is even brighter. I am challenging you to continue to give, continue to be a wonderful and unwavering supporter of Coppin State and continue to bring your friends and help us expand our footprint of philanthropic efforts beyond the great city of Baltimore and the state of Maryland. With you as a partner, there is nothing we cannot accomplish. With your continued investment in our students, there is no environment they cannot change. Thank you, take care, and go cop. Thank you, Dr. Jenkins. And now I'd like to introduce Dr. Ahmed El Hagan, Vice President for Institutional Advancement and Information Technology. Today, we celebrate you, our donors, for your generous donations, support, and dedication. We thank you for your understanding of the needs of our students and our institution. We also thank you for your unwavering support for the beautiful mission of our beloved Coppin State University. Thanks to you, last year we have awarded over $550,000 in scholarship to over 400 students. And thanks to your support and generous donation, this fiscal year scholarship budget is $750,000. So let's work together to reach a million dollar scholarship budget in the near future. Thank you, Dr. Jenkins, Dr. Elegon. Now it's time for our breakfast bite. While we weren't able to feed you this morning, we wanted to give you something to feed your soul. The breakfast bite is a candid conversation between a generous donor and a scholarship recipient. From their conversation, you'll learn about their Coppin experiences and what drives their passion. I am pleased to introduce to you Ms. Kira Thomas, accounting major at Coppin State University, and Mr. Wiley Timmons, 1989 Coppin alum and generous donor. 
Hey, Connor. I'm Wiley Timmons, and I'm so, it's so nice to meet you. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. Why don't you do me a favor? Tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, hi, my name is Kyra Thomas. I'm a rising senior accounting student um, at Coppin State University. I'm from Bowie, Maryland, and I've been at Coppin State for three years. Wow, okay. I, I did read some your bio and I think you have what a 3.5 3.9 average somewhere around there yes yes I have a cumulative 3.9 GPA oh I'm scared of you young lady my <laughs> gosh <laughs> well I listen I am so glad to hear that and I know how difficult it is to maintain an average like that my understanding that you also are working Yes, yes, I work at an animal hospital. Um, I'm actually at work right now, so I've been working throughout the time that I've been at Coppin. Wow, that is interesting. And able to maintain an average of three of, of a three point five or three point nine? My gosh, honey, you <laughs> you are you are bound to do beautiful things, wonderful things. Stay Thank focused. You. Thank Stay you. Stay focused. Uh, let me ask you another question. What influenced your decision to attend Coppin? So um, I've grown up in Maryland all my life. So yeah. Coppin State was very close and affordable for me um, mm -hmm. as I am paying out of pocket for school and working. I work in Annapolis, so I needed a campus that was close enough to where I live and where I work. So it actually worked out very well. It's not too far, um, so I can commute. Yeah, that's real interesting. You said you... Uh, you work in Annapolis? Yes. You know, I spent, uh, <laughs> I like to tell people I'm stamp government. I, I retired, one of the jobs I retired from is State of Maryland. And I oh, work yeah. at uh, Department of Natural Resources. Mm -hmm. Rob Boulevard, are you familiar with that? Yes, yeah. Okay. I went to Maryland. Uh, <laughs> I'm also a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha. We had AKA Day in Annapolis. So yeah. I went there this year. So I was right there actually at the building. That's good, that's good. So I guess my other question is, what is one of the most memorable things about you in Coppin thus far? Um, I have a couple, honestly. <laughs> um, so I think my number one is being able to graduate a year early. Um, I graduate May 2021. So that's actually one of the biggest things for me because I graduated from high school in 2014. I didn't even know if I was going to be able to go to college. Um, I had to start working full time and it took me four years to get to where I am now. Um, so it's just very heartwarming that there were still people at this school that understood that I wasn't a traditional straight from high school student, but they still helped me. I still had opportunities to get internships. I've been able to have an internship every summer I've been um, in school. So it's very helpful knowing that even if I have a different situation or if I didn't have all the resources that I knew I needed, um, even though I'm still from Maryland, it's still an in-state school. It was just nice to learn everything that I need to know, especially being a student that never went to college. Mm -hmm. So I think that's my number one thing is that I met so many people, even in my first like two months that helped me now to where I'm, I have job offers and internship offers. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things I had wanted my scholarship to do was reach out to a student that was also matriculating while going, while working. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because it's very challenging working and trying to go to school. I'm so, so glad to hear that you're doing both and doing an excellent job at doing both. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> but can you say it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I said it earlier. Um, so I interned with KPMG, which is an accounting firm. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going straight through to my next internship. Since we're going straight through with my master's, so I'm going to be interning with them next summer. So hopefully um, it'll be a job offer after that. Um, so yeah, I chose tax accounting with them. So next summer we'll be just straight through working with tax only. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, again, I, I, I do wish you well. 
and, and you matriculate you. through uh, your institutions. Uh, so, hey, as I said again, you can fly. Put those wings up and go ahead and soar. Best of luck. Thank you so much, Wiley and Kyra, for sharing your stories with us. We are so happy to have you as a part of the Coppin family. And now it's time for the Foundation Merit Scholarship Induction Ceremony. I am thrilled today to announce that we will be inducting six new Foundation Merit Scholarships. Through generous donations from alumni, friends, and employees, Foundation Merit Scholarships are among the most prestigious offered by the university. Contributions to the Foundation Merit Scholarship Program are an investment in long-term success of our brightest stars. Donors are honored by having their photographs hung in places of distinction on the campus of Coppin State University and are invited to the annual Foundation Merit Scholarship Induction Ceremony. I am pleased to announce the following Foundation Merit Scholarships for the Class of 2020. The College of Business Foundation Merit Scholarship is established by Dr. Sadie Gregory. This is Dr. Gregory's third Foundation Merit Scholarship, having been inducted in 2013 and 2018. Dr. Gregory has served in numerous roles at CSU and is currently the Interim Dean of the College of Business. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Sadie Gregory. Hello, I'm Dr. Sadie Gregory, Interim Dean for the College of Business. I'd like to bring greetings and honor to our Merit Scholars. When asked to participate in this program a few years ago, I decided to be a part of it because I, I saw this as an opportunity to provide assistance to our students with tuition and fees. It didn't take me long to realize, though, that the benefit far exceed the tuition and fees for the individual students. But now I see this as an opportunity to provide support to the family. For our students, college education is an opportunity for the entire family to celebrate. For the parents, the grandparents, the guardians, and other family members who will pool resources together to make an educational opportunity possible for their children, I can be a part of that celebration. But perhaps the third reason that I decided to participate is not quite so obvious. It's what I call the multiplier effect. You know, my education was partially funded with scholarships. So for me now, I have an opportunity to give and to provide scholarships for other students. And I'm absolutely certain that this multiplier effect means that our students upon completion of their degrees will stand shoulder to shoulder with the rest of us donors to increase the pool of scholarships for students. As we broaden this scholarship base, we all benefit society, as well as the individuals and their families. So I'm proud to be a part of this. And I say congratulations, scholars, and I look forward to standing shoulder to shoulder with you and the other donors in the near future. Thank you. The CSU Information Technology Division Foundation Merit Scholarship II is established by the ITD Division at Coppin State University. This is the second FMS established by ITD. The endowment supports students majoring in information technology, led by Dr. Ahmed al -Hagan. Over 30 members of the ITD division support this FMS. Ladies and gentlemen, the Information Technology Division at Coppin State University. On behalf of Dr. Ahmed al and the members of the Information Technology Division at Coppin State University, we are honored to be inducted into the Foundation Merit Scholarship for the second time. The IT division prides itself on providing stellar technology support to all members of the Coppin family, but especially the heart of Eagle Nation, our students. We recognize that a barrier for many students in earning their college degree is the lack of finance. We cannot allow our support of Coppin students to solely be in the technology realm. Therefore, we made it a priority to provide financial support to Coppin students in the pursuit of their dreams and obtaining a college degree. Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. By helping to remove financial hurdles, we are helping to produce a new generation of Coppin graduates that will change our world for the better. And to this we say, 
Go, Go Eagles! Eagles! Zeta Gamma Chapter was chartered by Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated at Coppin State College in 1970. Zeta Gamma Brothers are the first fraternity at CSU to form a Foundation Merit Scholarship. The Kappa ideal states, leave a legacy and build a future. Zeta Gamma is leaving a scholarship to support CSU students. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the brothers of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated Zeta Gamma Chapter. Hello, my name is Joseph Lewis. I'm one of the 10 charter members of the Zeta Gamma Chapter Kappa Alpha Psi here at Kappa State University. Kappa Alpha Psi was established on the principles of achievement and also leaving a legacy for the future. These ideals are what helped us to go through and achieve ourselves in, at Kappa State University when we first came here. At the same time, we feel that it's our obligation to serve the college, university, to serve the community, and also to serve the faculty and the uh, administration here at Coppin State University to help and then accomplish these, accomplishing these means. By accomplishing these means, we feel that we will serve a great purpose in helping students for their financial obligations to complete their tenure here at Coppin State University to achieve their academic and social goals. We feel that in helping the students to accomplish their goals financially, they will be able to use their experience, their academics, and their social skills they learn here at Coppin State University in order to go out into the community and be successful in helping other people establish in, in their purpose in the world and also to be successful in, what, in whatever they do in their lifestyles. We also feel though that Coppin State University is a great place for people to nurture themselves and understanding what life is about and how to advance their skills to go out and be successful in the world. We thank Coppin for this opportunity that we've had that we've been able to go out and do what I just explained, being uh, achievers in any field that we may desire to go into, and also being able to prosper and helping other people to meet their needs and meet their goals to be successful in the world. The Lillian K. Chamberlain Wiggins Foundation Merit Scholarship is being established in her memory. Lillian matriculated at Coppin State University, earning a diploma in elementary education in 1954. Teaching was her passion and her life's commitment. Ladies and gentlemen, a tribute to Lillian Wiggins. The youngest of six children in the Chamberlain household, Lillian had decided at a young age that she wanted to become a school teacher. After high school, Lillian enrolled in the elementary education program at what was then called Coppin State Teachers College. Her first job in the Baltimore City School public system was at Mount Winan School No. 156, nestled between Cherry Hill and Westport Schools. For many years, Lillian was fulfilled by teaching students at Mount Winans in the upper grades, working with them towards junior high school and life readiness. Sometime in the late 70s, Mount Winans Elementary School was closed. The faculty and most students were assigned to Westport Elementary School. Here, Lillian was able to continue her work with student readiness. Mrs. Wiggins retired from the Baltimore City school system after 36 years of teaching, nurturing, and preparing hundreds of elementary school students for success. All of whom remember her do so as that special teacher who gave them guidance, love, and parceled out inspiration with wisdom to every student. The Brandon Smalls Endowed Scholarship was established by President Anthony Jenkins 
in memory of his incredible nephew. Brandon's life was cut short due to cancer, and despite his illness, the energy with which he lived life was inspiring. And it is through his scholarship that President Jenkins hopes to inspire students to achieve their dreams. Ladies and gentlemen, President Anthony Jenkins. You know, Brandon was a remarkable young man. And if he had had the opportunity, he would have changed the world. But fate would not let that play out. So for the young men and women who will be the recipients of Brandon's scholarship, I expect them to do what I expected him to accomplish. And that is great things, to make every environment they enter better and to go out and change the world. So I am honored to establish this scholarship for my nephew who could not be here and finish his journey, but through his contributions others will have the opportunity. Thank you and go Coppin. Gloria Eileen Hall was a 1948 graduate of Coppin Teachers College and also received a graduate degree from Boston University. She taught in the Baltimore City Public Schools and served as a reading specialist for 36 years. This scholarship is established in her memory by the PAMS Social Club, a group of community-oriented young ladies that Ms. Hall began mentoring in 1958 and served as a friend and an advisor for over 50 years. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the ladies of the PAMS Social Club. Hi, I'm Gwen Watson. To my left is Bettina Scott, and to my right is Beverly Randall. We are representing the PAM Social Club, a group of young ladies who have maintained a sisterhood for 63 years. We are so proud and honored to establish the Gloria Allen Hall Foundation Merit Scholarship. Allen, as we call her affectionately, was a 1948 graduate of Coppin, and she truly loved her alma mater. Allen was a loving and giving person she spent 36 years in the Baltimore City Public Schools as a classroom teacher and as a reading specialist. She particularly was proud of the fact that Coppin provided her with such a good education and she always wanted to give back. Because of her love of education, she often supported educational endeavors of her friends and her family members. She was often known to support to provide tutoring services for the children and the family or for the families of her friends. She often assisted with buying school supplies and it was one of her favorite things to give kids books because she always believed that reading was fundamental. Aline's giving spirit followed her everywhere she went and to know her is to love her. At the age of 15, we had a recently formed club and we realized that we needed the assistance and guidance of a special person. Aline was truly that person. She gladly accepted the challenge of becoming our advisor. She was a mentor to us, she was a companion to us, she was a friend to us, and she became family to us. She taught us many things and instilled many values in us that helped us to maintain our relationship with each other and with her for over 50 years. And in the true spirit of Gloria Allen Hall, we are so happy that we are able to give back to Coppin. Let's give a round of applause to our newest Foundation Merit Scholarship donors. Thank you so much for your generosity and support. Together, we are creating pathways for our students to succeed. On behalf of the students, faculty, and staff at Coppin State University, I would like to thank all of our donors for your generous and continued support. And to our students, I would like to thank you for your hard work and your commitment to your education. Once again, I would like to thank you for tuning in. As we close out, I'd like to leave you with some more student profiles to view. Hi, my name is Jamila Elamine. I am currently a senior here at Coppin State University and I'm an Applied Psychology major. 
These private donor scholarships have truly been a blessing for me. I'm an older returning student and head of household, so I have a lot of responsibility. These scholarships have given me the ability to tap into resources for a successful academic year, and I'm really grateful for that. Also, just knowing that these donors chose me, found me worthy of their gift, is truly motivational and encouraging. Thank you. Hello, my name is Dominic Russell. I'm a mathematics major from Upper Marlboro, Maryland, and I would like to thank the Private Donor Scholarship for blessing me with the funds and giving my family financial stability. It eases our minds and we send blessings and prayers to all of you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jakia Harris. I am from Baltimore and I attend Coppin State University. I am a senior. I'm technically supposed to graduate 2021 in the winter. Um, my major is early childhood education. This scholarship is very important to me. It's the reason why I can graduate on time. The more and more I get closer to my graduation, the less financial aid is available. So I really appreciate being given the opportunity to have the scholarship. It helps me be able to pay for my books and everything I need for school and for class. So I truly appreciate it. God bless you. I'm grateful for the power of higher education. It has completely changed the trajectory of my life and caused me to earn some lifelong friendships that I'll value till the day I die. Greetings, my name is Jasmine Sly. I am a junior, majoring in criminal justice with receiving a certificate in forensic science. And I'm also from Baltimore, Maryland. This scholarship is an honor to hold because I'm able to pursue my education and also pursue the career of my dreams. Receiving this scholarship made a huge difference in my life, especially due to today's circumstances. I hope one day that I am able to also help students achieve their goals just as you helped me. Again, thank you for this wonderful opportunity. I am truly grateful. Hello, my name is Jason Ham Bay, and I am a senior at Coppin State University majoring in social work, and I am from Baltimore, Maryland. The Private Donor Award Scholarship means a lot to me because it takes away some of the financial stressors tied to the cost of attending uh, Coppin State University. And I just like, I feel honored that I'm part of this scholarship program because, you know, I grew up, you know, kind of economically poor in Baltimore City and to have the assistance from the private donors uh, award scholarship, uh, I feel honored that uh, I was accepted into the program and granted this opportunity. Hello everyone, my name is Joanne Sanders and I am a senior in the Masters of Science in Adult and Continuing Continue Education Program at Coppin State University in Baltimore, Maryland. This year, on August the 2nd, I was granted a private donor award from the Dolores C. Hunt Endowment Scholarship Fund. This scholarship allows me to further my education. This private donor scholarship has paved the way for me to pay for adult and continued education books and any supplies needed for the semester. I am grateful that the Dolores C. Hunt Endowment Scholarship Fund believes in me. I hope one day I will be able to do the same for a student at Coppin State University. Thank you. Hello, my name is Loema Stewart and I'm currently majoring in Management Information System. I'm a junior at Coppin State University. I want to say thank you so much for allowing me to finishing up my degree completing it with the scholarship is going to help me with my books and fees and i thank you thank you i'm very grateful for this opportunity because i am the only one in my family who's going to attain a degree so i'm thankful and happy thank you so much hello my name is maria Ahmad. i am senior at coffee city university majoring early childhood human development this scholarship uh, is means so much to me and I want to say thank you so much. Um, um, I am so grateful because um, last semester um, I was not able to either buy or rent a box. This semester with this scholarship I was able to rent a box and I did not have to go back and forth in the library to either um, scan the chapters or um, 
take a pictures of the chapter so i can do my work thank you so much this scholarship means so much to me um i really do hope that one day i can do the same for someone else what you did for me um i i really do appreciate it thank you so 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 much thank you my name is mariam alsen i'm a biology major student and i'm from nigeria this scholarship has made me realize that my future is possible no matter my financial needs it has made me increase my writing skills and it has also added to the opportunity i needed to have a successful career goal i appreciate all donors for giving me this scholarship and i also appreciate the organizers i wish to get more of this in the nearest future in order for me to complete my education thank you and i appreciate it. Hi, this is Michael Volkman, and I am recording this video to thank the donors of the Coppin State Scholarship Fund for selecting me for the $1,000 scholarship to help with my graduate studies. I am incredibly honored to receive this award. I currently have two more semesters after this semester until I graduate with uh, 61 graduate credits in the clinical counseling slash rehabilitation counseling program at Coppin State. And this funding is going to really help. I can't understate how phenomenally helpful this is going to be and how blessed I am to receive this money. Um, I am trying to get a 4.0 and I'm halfway there for my graduating uh, GPA. And this funding will help with books, resources, everything you can think of. So thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. And you all have a blessed day. Hello, my name is Shapri Cheers, and I am a senior here at Coppin State University. My major is social work, and I minor in nonprofit leadership. I have been in Maryland for about 12 years. I'm originally from Indiana, and I just want to say thank you for allowing me the opportunity to receive the additional support. It is very much appreciated as well as very much needed during, especially during this time of COVID. So again, thank you from the bottom of my heart and have a good day. Hello, my name is Star Marie Farrell. I am an early childhood education major and I'm from Queens, New York. What this scholarship means to me is that now I have another step towards achieving my goal. So I thank you very much. Hi, my name is Tyja Somerville. I am a sophomore majoring in criminal justice from St. Mary's County, Maryland. I would like to thank you for seeing my potential and investing in my future. Hello, my name is Nicole Green and I'm a senior at Coppin State University majoring in social science. I would just like to say thank you for the scholarship that I was awarded this semester. And I would like to also say that if it was not for this scholarship this semester, I do not think that I was going to be able to finish finish courses or finish my classes because I have been facing some financial hardship this year. So unfortunately, I was going to have to put my education on the back burner because I was not able to afford my classes this semester but by me being chosen and awarded this scholarship this semester i'm just so thankful for it and so blessed to be chosen for this opportunity so just i just want to say thank you just thank you so much i'm very appreciative of this opportunity thank you again We hope our students leave a lasting impression on you and increase your confidence in your investment at Coppin State University. Thank you so much and have a great day.